So Julia, when you're talking about patterns, do you think any of these patterns, like you're talking about your mom's side, five of them had cancer, which meant they could have been tumors back in time. And I was also reading uh, that you said, and the doctor said that, you know, things could have started right in the womb. Um, have you ever sat down and thought about it? And I'm sure you have because the patterns and then being in the womb, five children just, you know, uh, because of cancer going away. Um, what more did you kind of connect with during this self-discovery course that you went through? I think having seen a geneticist post um, post the surgery, and I've actually had three brain tumours. One they've removed. I've still got two that are sitting there, but they're very small and they're being monitored on a regular basis. And of course, the most important thing with um, brain tumours is whether they're benign or malignant. And the two I have remaining look benign. So I've got a very good long diagnosis of, of good health, I hope. Um, I'm very fortunate with that. In terms of the family background, I think what I was told was it was a genetic malfunction, probably in the late stages of the womb, but it wasn't hereditary. So something just went wrong with the genes, but it wasn't, it was not a hereditary pattern. So there was no concern for my sister or her children. So it wasn't a family pattern. But of course, knowing that five uncles and aunts on my mother's side died early of various cancers um, makes one contemplate one's own mortality and be conscious to try and make the most of every moment. 